What's up guys? Thought I'd do a quick video on some tests I've been doing on this material as a bed material. This is called PEI and it's actually sitting on top of my glass that still has um, the green sticker stuff on there. The... Anyway, this plastic is printable with both PLA and ABS with nothing on it. Um, it's some people have called it the wonder print material and so I thought I did a do a uh, quick uh, experimentation with it now the one thing to note is that there are many different thicknesses of this material um, some of it is thin as like aluminum foil and others you know it's blocks that are three inches thick so nobody really had a good idea about what thickness to get I got the 1 16th inch thick. It's a fairly expensive material. I think I paid $29 or something like that for this piece. This was a 12 inch by 12 inch piece, which I had to cut a little bit to get a fit on my Taz here, which is a 300 by 300. Um, because of the thickness of this piece, I do notice that when it heats up, when I turn my, my print bed to 60 to 80 Celsius, that it bows a little bit and so especially around the edges that's why I added these clamps these little spring clamps around the edges it's because it would lift in fact you can see that um, so if I were to do this again I would get a much thicker piece um, maybe as thick as quarter inch which would probably be closer to a hundred dollars not good for an experiment but good if it works permanently um, I've done about 20 prints on this. So far it works fairly well. I've had a little ups and downs with it. Um, I had one time when it wasn't, I couldn't get stuff to stick to it very well for some reason. I don't know what the reason was still, except that maybe it was uh, that the print head wasn't low enough. Um, it was lifting on one end. So I did something I probably shouldn't have done. I ran a very light bit of sandpaper over it. Um, as I'd heard somebody else do, it was very high uh, grit sandpaper. It was like uh, 1,200. So it only, you know, very lightly sanded it. But, uh, and that worked. Except that some of the material, especially the, the brim that prints around the first, one, I had a hard time getting that off to the point where I used, since I was printing with ABS, I used acetone to wash it off. The problem was, if you do that, you've got to do it two or three times with a clean cloth because otherwise it deposits acetone and ABS mix into the little uh, sanding marks and the next print will stick very nicely, so nicely that you have to almost break everything to get it off. Yeah, so that was probably wasn't a good idea. Um, and you could see on the back of the print that there was white from the acetone and the ABS. Normally, when I would print on this, I'd pull it off and it's just whatever color, like this. I'm pr I, I print a lot in black, so normally it's just nice black. So anyways, um, I haven't concluded yet whether I'm going to continue with this material, but if you're having a serious problem printing ABS and it won't stick, this is a good material. Now, I've also printed a little bit of PLA on it. It sticks fine and it comes off fine. Basically, um, and again, with no glue, no ABS slurry, no hairspray, nothing like that. Um, the PLA is fairly nice in that you, when it's still warm, I print it with, at 60C uh, PLA with the, on the bed. And when it's warm, you cannot get the PLA off. You, you, you would lift up the printer. But as soon as it cools down to room temperature, it just pops off real nice. So that's very nice. It's supposed to do the same thing with ABS, 
but I'm I'm having it go one of two ways. It either comes off a little too easy to where it will bend while it's printing, or it doesn't come off at all. Um, I think it's just a matter of me getting used to having to make sure that the 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 nozzle height is exact. Um, and uh, making sure also that because I, I've put this right on top of my glass, so you've got the heating element, you've got uh, the glass, and then you've got this material. Well, the thermocouple or the uh, thermistor is, or uh, the temperature sensor is on the bottom of the glass and the heating element. So even if that says that it's 85C, that doesn't mean the top of this is yet. So what I do is I give my hot, uh, my heated bed a little extra time to warm up before I start my print. I want to see this at, at I printed 85C. I want to see this at 85C before my hot end starts to warm up. That way I know that by the time the hot end is ready, the top of this is at 85C. So it gives it a little extra time. Um, if you've got a thick enough piece of this, I suppose you could replace your glass with it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know that I would do that. I don't know. Glass is still the most flat surface you can do on here. Um, unless you've got an aluminum plate. But it works. Um, I got mine off of eBay. And, uh, again, it's called uh, P.E. Let me see. What was the name of it? The name of it is P.E.I. Yeah. Ultim. Let's see if I can get that in focus there. Yeah, it won't focus. Ultim. U.L. T.E.M. And P.E.I. And uh, you can get it through places like McMaster Car and stuff, but they want you to buy fairly large amounts. Um, you can get it on eBay uh, in different size sheets, and that's why I bought this. I bought a 12 by 12. My print bed is actually like 11.8 by 11.8. So I had to trim it off a little bit, which I, I kind of gouged it when I did it. I tried to do it like you would plexiglass and it it kind of shattered a little bit but it's okay it's not in the print area at all so it worked so anyway just wanted to do a quick uh, catch up on that and the uh, task force has been running just fine ever since then i moved my reel over here for a reason i'll explain later and I just thought I'd do an update on that material. So if you uh, are having serious problems or, you don't, or you're tired of glue and hairspray and all of that other gunk, you might want to give this a try. All right. Thanks. And uh, if you would, please leave a like for this and uh, subscribe for more. Thank you very much.